time, Taurus. You know I'm gonna do it. Welcome back. <laughs> ah, this is gonna be a reading for Taurus for the week of November 5th. Um, this week I decided to do something different. So instead of the um, general weekly reading, I'm gonna focus solely on love. Taurus, I'm gonna pull cards for your hopes, fears, feelings, and blockages within the relationship. And then I'm gonna pull cards for your partner. Um, because this is a general reading, you might find that you resonate more with the partner side. So just remember this can go vice versa. Take what messages that come, discard those that don't. If it resonates, please do like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for coming back. And uh, let's see what you got going on here. Taurus's current energy. Taurus, some of you might, you know what this is? <laughs> This is kind of like your last um, weekly reading. Again, some of you might have a focus on spilt milk, which you don't have as opposed to what you have. This could be the person external to you, too. Some of you might feel disappointed in your partner, actually. Or are they you? Hmm, let's see. Um, and it doesn't have to be towards your partner. You just might be feeling disappointment in general. Okay. So your partner's energy, um, is, let me show you. That's the card you got. Five cups. And your partner's current energy. <clears throat> you know, they're trying to use their intuition Very interesting. Right now, your partner feels a, a little bit unstable. You know what? There might have been like something shocking that came about recently or in the past, in the recent past. And they're trying to use their intuition about it or there's a high focus on trying to figure out the unknown. What's funny is you have the Nine of Cups in the middle of this. And generally I see the Nine of Cups as a wish come true. So, but it also can be overindulgence. So it's like, this could be a good shock. Some of them might have been shocked that they got something that intuitively they felt was coming to them. And then they got their wish. And like, the bam what? You know, <laughs> you know I don't, I'm getting that. So that could be one of the scenarios. I'm going to need to clarify the situation. I just find it weird that if that is the scenario, why the energy on your side is that way. Very interesting. Um, uh, if, and if some of you are dealing with a Scorpio, by the way, then I feel like the Scorpio um, is trying to use their intuition this week and they might have an issue with overindulgence. <laughs> okay. So Taurus, how you feel towards your partner, how you view them. Some of you feel like your partner is a little bit detached. You know, like they're there, but they're not there. Like, like they're sitting next to you, but like you're not communicating. <laughs> or you got the nine of cups as well, except in the reverse. Okay, so there's something deeper going on here. Like I said, the, these are very interesting cards to get. So, Taurus, some of you that are watching um, the female, if you're a male, the female in your life, or you might have a female in your life, remember love can be family and friends as well. It does not have to be your intimate partner. You feel like they are, like, they're either not communicating at all with you, or they are, like, in their own world, you know, this week. Also, I feel like, you know, some of you were wishing for this energy to turn around or hoping 
you know, to come out of like this vacillation state where you're in two minds about something. So yeah, I, I feel like Taurus, you view this person as being a little too in their head. So, like a little too dreamy, a little too indecisive, a little too, yeah. That's for one set of you. There's another set of you that has a female external to you that's cut off communication with you. Your wish is for them to communicate, but you're not getting that. And there was juggling going on, but it's not going on anymore. Let me get the partner's energy. First, you had an interesting reading either last week or the week before. I feel like I'm connecting like <laughs> with two sets of you. I'm, in almost all of these readings, I have connected with two sets of people. So, oh my goodness. So, yeah. So, Taurus, the person external to you, they view you as a soulmate. Okay. So, even though you might be in two minds about them or you, you think they're in two minds about you, they view you as a soulmate. They may be trying to communicate with you. You know, they want uh, equal give and take. That's so funny because in your energy, you know, like I said, this can go vice versa. I feel like you're mirroring each other. It's like one party doesn't want to communicate and the other party wants to communicate. One party is indecisive and the other party knows like, hello, you're the one for me. <laughs> um, one party is not getting not feeling like they're getting their wish, and one party does feel like they're getting their wish. So, like I said, the, you have very opposing energies, Taurus. You and the person that you're connecting with might be on totally different wavelengths this week. Like, for real. <laughs> you know, because in your energy, you feel like, you know, the opposite of them. This is a weird reading. I, I'm i going to bet this does not resonate with many of you. But if it does, will you please tell me what this is about? <laughs> All right, Taurus, your next step is towards the person you're dealing with. Sometimes when I get all the cards out, I can pull t together the message a lot better. So we'll see. Uh, Taurus, your next steps in the relationship. What action do you plan to take next in the relationship? Yeah, Taurus. <laughs> Either you or the person external to you is majorly stuck in their head about this. That's what I just said. And I feel like there's some anxiety going on here. Uh, you might not be sleeping so well at night, or they might not be, or both. Taurus, I feel like <clears throat> you're almost waiting for a fight this week, or like, not like a major fight. These are like everyday squabbles. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, you didn't do the dishes. <laughs> or you forgot to pick the kids up from school. You know? And you're like anticipating that. What a weird energy to be in. Some of you are anticipating that. Now that's not going to be for all of you. But some of you, the next action is, Taurus, you're trying to make a decision again between two paths. I think some of you are focused on like some something that disappointed you. And I think you're having a lot of inner conflict about which direction to go. And Taurus, if you're the person that's in your head, the reason you're in your head is because you're vacillating, you know? You you're trying to get all of the information together to make a a decision. You have some inner conflict about it. Taurus, the person external to use next steps. Next steps for the person external to Taurus. 
So, Taurus, the person external to you, you know, they want... Like I said, <laughs> you're like completely opposite energy. They want... They want to work on it. They want to have the strength to work on the relationship. Um, you know, I think they want to continue to focus on the home. Um, they want maybe even to go on like a vacation with you. You know, they want um, to strengthen the relationship. They feel like they're, they feel like you are their soulmate. And I'm not saying that you don't. But some of you I'm reading for don't. Some of you are paired to somebody that you're not in love with anymore. Oh, this person's deeply in love with you. <laughs> you know, and like I said, that's not going to be for all of you. Some of you, it's just this week, you and your partner are just kind of like in separate universes. You know, their focus is like balancing the money, the checkbook, or focusing on the home. Um... And, and your focus is thinking about your next step, your next goal, where are you moving to, what is my next whatever. So interesting. So let me pull some cards for the hoax and blockages. And you guys, hold on one second. Because... Getting ready to have my children walk up the stairs. <laughs> so, Taurus, your hopes. Your hopes, Taurus. Yeah. Hold on one second. Can you keep... Okay, your hopes, Taurus. Sorry. <laughs> Some traffic going on through my house right now. Um, yeah. Your hope is to come out of this non-communicative state. Like, a lot of you are not communicating on what you're actually feeling. Some of you feel heartbroken. So, and what is the hope for Taurus? <laughs> Ashton, she'll, what's the hope for Taurus? <laughs> Bless it. I'm a mother first, guys. Um, yeah, so Taurus, the fear would be, you know, that you... are not going to have success in this. And whatever this and whatever you're so highly focused on that keeps coming up in your readings, your your blockage is that you you fear that you won't like be successful in whatever this is that you're trying to do. Some of you also fear that you are going to hurt either this partner or somebody else by by the decision that you want to make. And that's why you're not communicating about it. Okay, person external to use hope and here, person external to use hope. So, like I said, the person external to you, they, they feel like this is a faded <laughs> relationship. They feel very karmically bonded to you. Their hope is to, like I said, move things forward. And the person external to them sphere. I hope I don't get a ton of comments about all the stuff going on in the background. So the fear is that there'll, there'll be no work on this relationship. Okay. So, like I said, you guys are in um, two separate energies this week, okay? So, 
Let me see what the overall message is for Taurus. What's the overall message for Taurus? Ooh, okay. <laughs> Taurus, I think a lot of you are trying to make a very difficult decision. There is somebody I'm reading for that's staying in a relationship that they are not happy in. And they stay because they're, they don't want to hurt the other person. But let me tell you something. And if this is not your scenario, close your ears for this part. Because this is not going to be everybody. If that is why you're staying, let me talk to you for a moment. It is, uh, it is unfair to the partner that you are paired with to stay in a relationship where you are no longer in love, okay? So if you think that you're not hurting them by staying, you know, you're actually doing the opposite. The best thing you can do is be truthful about it and let that person go out, you know, and find somebody that can love them equally because it's not fair to the other person for them to be in a relationship with somebody that cannot give and take. Um, even if they tell you, no, it's you, it's you, it's you I want to be with, if you don't feel that way towards them, you are not doing them favor by staying, okay? And there's somebody, somebody needed to hear that. Okay, so that's for those of you that are, you know, if this resonate, if that resonated with you. Others of you, you know, your relationship is fine, you're just, you know. You might not be in sync this week, okay? You, your priorities might be different than your partner's priorities this week. Um, so, yeah, like the overall message is some of you are really, like, looking for a sign. Um, and you might be seeing synchronicities. I encourage you to meditate um, to clear your mind so that you can make a decision. Because I see a lot of you are indecisive about something. Um, and just remember, everything happens in divine timing, so there is no right or wrong. There's only what is, <laughs> and so um, that includes timing. So this is the, as perfect time as any to make whatever decision it is that you have to make as well, too, because I, I can see like a delay in a decision as well. So, um, you know. Also, there's no such thing as perfect timing, guys. You make the timing perfect, right? Oh, that was a lot. Taurus, I wish you the very best. Uh, if that resonated with you, please do like, share, and comment. Please let me know. Um, otherwise, I hope you guys have a great rest of the week, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.